Hi guys, welcome to my channel Sushruta. Today our topic is orientation of ring activating and deactivating groups. In the previous video, we have studied what is ring activating and what is ring deactivating groups. How can we differentiate them and identify them? But in this video, we are seeing their orientation. That means orientation of ring activating groups, orientation of ring deactivating groups and even halogens. Why I'm mentioning halogens separately because you'll know in the last. So what's this video until the last. Let's come into the topic. Ring activating groups. Ring activating groups are ortho para directing groups and they are electron donating groups. Why? Because for example, consider it as a ring activating group. It donates lone pair of electrons towards this benzene ring that means this is a group which donates the electron it is the reason why we call these groups as electron donating groups okay next and these groups even show positive i effect i means inductive so they show positive inductive effect ring activating groups examples are ammonium i'm sorry nh2 och3 and methyl that means ammonium methyl methyl and methoxy and etc we still have some groups ring deactivating groups they are meta directing groups we know it and electron withdrawing groups that means look here that means these are withdrawing the electrons from the benzene ring so these are known as electron withdrawing groups and these groups even show minus i effect example NO2 cyanide or nitrile carboxylic acid CHO sulfonic acid etc etc okay first let's see ring activating groups orientation orientation of ring activating groups look here this is a ring activating group it transfers its electrons towards the benzene ring that means here it forms a double bond and we get a positive charge see here we get a double bond but carbon due to its valency it cannot accommodate five bonds so this double bond or lone pair of electrons gets shifted towards this carbon here the negative charge comes and this bond again shifts so here positive charge with these negative and positive there forms a, another bond and again negative charge same it is like resonance these are the resonance structures okay and this negative charge again shifts here we get a positive charge and this bond shifts here it gets a negative charge so completely negative and here a positive and negative comes a bond and even here again these this lone pair shifts here and again it forms a bond here that's it but these are known as ortho para directing groups because of the density of electrons at ortho and para positions look in these resonance structures electrons are more dense at that means if negative charge is present there are more number of electrons present we all know it so at ortho para and again this is also ortho position right ortho 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 and para that means while performing these resonance the electron density is much at ortho and para positions and at meta it's very 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 minute so much electron density is shown at ortho and para position so this groups are known as ortho and para directing groups okay that's it and amino group methoxy group are all examples of ring activating groups as i said before here look okay. this also happens in the same way the lone pair transfers here and this lone pair again shifts here that means the bond shift occurs same as in resonance structures like it performed before look here again the bond shifts here and here we'll get a positive charge with this negative charge it forms a bond and here we again get a negative charge here bond shift occurs we get positive here and with this positive and negative it again forms a bond here again this bond shifts 
ये पॉजिटिव चार्ज एंड ही द पॉजिटिव चार्ज न्यूट्रलाइज ड्यू टू द शिफ्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो फाइनल दिस विल बी फॉर्म सेम फॉर मिथॉक्सी ग्रुप ऑल्सो सेम स्ट्रक्चर ओके नेक्स्ट दिस इज रिंग एक्टिवेटिंग ग्रुप्स ओरिएंटेशन ओके नेक्स्ट रिंग डीएक्टिवेटिंग ग्रुप्स ओरिएंटेशन रिंग डीएक्टिवेटिंग ग्रुप्स मीन्स एज आई सेड बिफोर दिज आर मैटा डायरेक्टिंग ग्रुप्स वाई दिज आर मैटा डायरेक्टिंग ग्रुप्स लुक वाई द ट्रांसफर ऑफ आई मीन डीलोकलाइजेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अकर्स हियर सी द पॉजिटिव चार्जेस आर प्रेजेंटेड और दो एंड पैरा पोजिशन लुक दैट मीन्स द इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी एट और दो एंड पैरा पोजिशन इज डिक्रीजिंग कंप्लीटली if it it drastically decreases then the meta position will have more electron density that means this position has much number of electrons and here the electron density will be high so in ring deactivating groups the meta directing groups because the meta position has high electron density when compared to ortho and para positions in ring deactivating groups okay and these are also known as electron withdrawing groups because these withdraws the electrons from the benzene ring look at this arrow here the lone pair shifts or the bond shift occurs so it is withdrawing the electrons from the benzene ring so this group is known as electron withdrawing groups and this also show minus i effect look see here this bond shifts here then oxygen will have three lone pairs that means negative charge forms uh, both is indicated here any one can be indicated by you that's your of your choice okay and this bond shift occurs so here double bond and here negative charge or three lone pairs of on this oxygen and positive charge occurs then again this bond shift will occur which provides a negative charge here this negative along with this positive forms a bond c here and while this bond shifts here we'll get a positive charge here that was indicated here again this bond shift occurs and this carbon gains a negative charge it attains a negative charge and negative along with positive forms a bond like here again here we get a positive charge that means electrons are less so the bond shift occurs from here from this carbon okay this bond shifts here look here along with this positive charge it forms a double bond here this is ring deactivating group cyanide group also will be same a uh, lone pair will be shift towards the nitrogen okay and the rest all process is completely similar next halogens i said you before these halogens should be told separately because there is a twist for this halogens in movies we'll have twists right like that in this concept also we'll have a twist look these halogens show minus i effect that means these groups are minus i groups but generally minus i groups are meta directing but these groups are ortho and para directing sir why you said that meta directing groups are electron withdrawing groups and they show minus i effect and ortho para directing groups are electron donating groups and they show plus i effect how can you mix these both but yes it happens see halogens are very electronegative their outer shell has seven electrons 1s2 2s2 2p5 or ns2 n or ns2 np5 is the outermost configuration of halogens that the outer shell has seven electrons look here here we have three lone pairs and one electron bonded with the benzene ring so the outer shell has seven electrons it is highly electronegative especially fluorine and this means that they are minus i groups yes they are minus i group however because of their ability to donate a lone pair of electrons in resonance forms they are activators or ortho and para directing groups actually they are minus i groups and highly electronegative groups but 
because of their ability to donate the lone pair of electrons in resonance form while performing this resonance forms look it is shifting the electrons that means it is donating the electrons towards the benzene ring so these are also comes under ortho para directing groups that means these are electron donating groups okay halogens are because of their ability to donate a lone pair of electron so look that is just a small exception remember it if anyone ask you about halogens it is a minus i group it is most electronegative but still due to their ability to donate a lone pair of electrons in resonance form they are activators ring activators or ortho or para directing groups okay look at this it is all completely similar with ring deactivating groups resonance forms see bond shift occurs negative charges occur at ortho and para positions so these are ortho and para directing groups as we have negative charges at ortho and para positions the electron density is much at that positions so these are ortho para directing groups that's it guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel sushruta meet you in the next video bye bye guys